A year since the first lockdown and production of one of this pandemic's most valuable commodities is ramping up. So these are the various fabrics that are used that go into the, the manufacturing the N95. If you go at the top, in the bottom layer, we have spun bond polypropylene, and they're doing their first round of quality control before they go over to our, our packaging area. But looking forward, an open question, will these masks ever find a market in Canada? Across the world, concern sparked by new variants has prompted a second look at masking. At minimum, wear a mask. Then you want it to fit better. So put a cloth mask over. As of today, people in Bavaria will be required on public transport and in shops to wear the FFP2 masks like this one. In parts of Germany, the FFP2 mask, that's their equivalent of the N95, is now mandatory. And they're not the only ones making them a must. My name is Katharina Reich and I am um, Chief Medical Officer of Austria. Austria has made N95 style masks a requirement for everyone over 14. In order uh, to reopen the country, to be safe in this reopening period. Since the pandemic began, masking recommendations have centered on the idea of protecting others. My mask protects you, your mask protects me. Austria decided to shift that thinking. The FFP2 mask does provide a better protection to the person wearing it which is also an incentive to increase compliance. We wanted but this to kind of sweeping change the, wasn't easy or cheap. Skin. How did you get around that problem? Supermarket uh, chains have agreed to provide these masks for an extraordinarily low price. We provide uh, 10 masks for everyone um, who is 65 or older. And um, we have also provided free masks for the, for the homeless shelters in order to ensure access to this mask for everyone. All possible because last summer, Austria started producing their own. And around the same time, similar plans were underway in Canada too. Uh, it is important for Canada to be able to rely on domestic sources of production. Left scrambling for PPE early in the pandemic, provincial and federal governments vowed never again. And several companies did answer the government's call, including a new kit on the block, VitaCor, based in Burnaby, BC. So if you want to come in right here, you can see where the, the headbands are actually being put on each respirator. When the pandemic hit, so Mikhail Moore used his background in engineering well. to build a mask-making facility from the ground up. What are your production numbers right now, as of today, for those N95s? So right now we produce 4.4 uh, million per month CAN99 respirators, which is our newest respirator, and then over 2 million per month CAN95 respirators. In case you're wondering, CAN95 is his own company's twist on the American N95 standard. Same quality, green lit by Health Canada, but different name. And many other companies like his are ramping up production too, making supply largely a problem of the past. I thought that was the issue, that there weren't enough N95 masks to go around, even for medical workers. Is that still the case? Uh, that is changing now. Obviously with the scale up that's occurred, uh, we're producing even more respirators than are required by uh, frontline workers at this point. And so we are kind of opening the doors to the general public to, to be able to wear respirators as well. So what are you telling me? That, that you could provide every Canadian with an N95 mask if they wanted one? I think that we're getting to a place now where uh, hopefully we can see citizens be able to purchase these as, as well if they want them. But to this day, in this country, unless you're at higher risk of severe illness or exposure, these masks aren't part of the plan. We are recommending that you consider a three-layer non-medical mask, which includes a middle filter layer. So ER doctor Kashif Pirzada says it's time for that to change. To what is it that you would have this government do starting today? Tell the public to really up their mask game. I think what uh, German and Austrian authorities have done by mandating is really being proactive. They're really getting ahead of this, whereas we in Canada have always been reactive. We've always done things a little too late, uh, a little too little, actually. Pirzada co-founded a group called Masks for Canada. We are a grassroots volunteer group of physicians and citizens. We promote mandating masks in all indoor spaces. Early in the pandemic, they pushed to make masking mandatory. More recently, they co-wrote an open letter to the government, making a clear demand, account for aerosol transmission of this virus. If we remember, a very related virus, SARS-1, was airborne as well. 
even if it's not airborne, we know it's more transmissible, at least we can be more proactive about it. A higher quality mask may help. So what are some concrete steps that you would have the Canadian government start to do to, to move this in the right direction? Distribute and require uh, advanced masks like N95 in crowded workplaces or at-risk workplaces and help people get them to do common grocery shopping and other things. We're not far from mass vaccinations. We just need to buy two to three months. We reached out to Health Canada to ask why their guidelines haven't changed. They tell us public health is aware of recent discussion around the use of N95s in the community, but says it will not be changing its stance on masking as there is no evidence to warrant a change. When you're out and about, what do you wear? So I wear an ear loop version of our CAN95. And so that's a, a version that we developed uh, specifically for everyday use. Would it be a good idea for Health Canada to, to advise the rest of Canada? I mean, all Canadians, whether you're, you're going out, going onto the subway, going to a grocery store, that they ought to be wearing N95s? Obviously, it's important for us to make sure that we're servicing uh, those medical and, and frontline workers first. Uh, but at the same time, we want to protect Canadians and we want to make sure that uh, everyone has a chance to have adequate uh, filtration uh, for the masks that they're wearing.